This video is about how to connect an ultra high voltage, uh, high voltage uh, source. So these are two parts which we have, which I've bought on uh, AliExpress. And on this uh, circuit, you have the input. There's the input, which uh, is 12 to 36 volt DC. And on the output, we have three connectors or normally four connectors. These are always the same. These are always drivers, which are doing the following. They are doing a toggle between two uh, wires or two systems. So this is uh, one way where they drive the coil. So we may see it here, that's, that's the second part. They, uh, one coil, one wiring is connected to the first connection. And then it, these ones uh, drives the magnetic field and pushes it in this direction. And then it switches to the zero point again. It's an AC uh, signal to the other uh, circuitry and the other one if it was first on that side, it runs on the other side. And on here we have the different connections. This is the primary coil, which is a low coil by four wires, four windings. Then we have the, uh, that's like an amplifier or a, the setting how uh, how fast it will go. And in here is this, the secondary coil. And there are se several points where you may uh, shortcut the output coil. So if in this case, let's say it starts on here and then this is the maximum output coil. So I'm connecting now that stuff. And I don't know why, uh, why this is done uh, in this system. It's, it creates uh, not an AC signal in the output, but there seems to be a rectifier inside. It's always the same. They, these systems are always the same. Like this, this is from high voltage uh, shop. There's always the same setting. We have this one. There are two uh, inside. We should see two, these two uh, MOSFETs. They run their uh, stuff on here definitely as DC signal it's the positive that's positive that's negative negative or grounding what we see here there's uh, these are the primary uh, primary uh, windings and there's only one winding which causes this that stuff circuitry with those two MOSFETs is called zero switching circuitry which means there goes the signal high and then it pushes the it, it drives out one wire and then when the signal comes down again then it's switched at zero point so there is no uh, no left or only a few left power inside the wire on the system and then it goes to the negative uh, part and then this is drives the other coil or other windings and that's why it's called uh, zero switching and zero switching is very uh, power effective which means there is not that much that much lost uh, but anyways those two MOSFETs get hot and in this video I show you how much power is and there these are two centimeters so this means uh, 20,000 volts and I've connected a capacitor and the backside so it pushes a lot more. And now when I force my stuff, then don't check. very powerful. Now since I don't know how the circuitry is done I did the following. I connected the plus and minus on there and then I took uh, the outside of this wiring and those inner two stuff into the middle 
outside, outside, so these two sides are connected there. And now I assume this the plus and these ones are different. Let's see. We are starting. Oops. Yep. Okay. You see it's on there. Now this wiring which comes from there is closer. Uh, we will see where it goes to. Still goes to the outside. So the top wiring, this one is important and this one from the bottom which is connected there and the other one, I don't know this one, what, what is this for? I took a, con uh, a capacitor between both lines and the, other, the third one is there. We are starting again. I enlarge the gap to two point something centimeters, 20,000 volts. Hmm. I am isolating uh, the new ends. I enlarged it. So we have here now an isolation between And now the sparking gap is 20,000 K volts. And we do start with our voltage. Terrible, isn't it?